Hi guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. So, you want to know the sources of your vinyl records. You want to know if they have been cut from analog tapes or from a digital source, or perhaps from analog tapes which were converted to a digital file. Do you want to know if maybe the mastering process was dedicated to vinyl or was just simply a mastering for a CD which was transposed for your vinyl record. Precious, expensive vinyl record. You want to know how to know all of this? Coming up. Okay guys, I admit that the title is a little bit of clickbait because I wanted you to be focused because this is a video to call to action. I, we need you guys, we need the vinyl community. What am I talking about? Vinyl Cut. Oh yes, VinylCut.net. It's a fantastic project uh, just created by Guillaume Curtacade. He's a French genius, I would say. And um, he created this fantastic site where us, all of us, the vinyl community can contribute in order to give information mainly on the sources from which the different pressings are cut. Not only, there is a, a community control because you can actually check what other people's are saying, are claiming and give your vote or give your other version, etc, uh, etc. Et actually, we're gonna check now directly the site which is already online in order to understand what is happening. And after that, Guillaume himself is going to give us a few insights, some insight, a few words on this project. Let's dive in. Okay, guys. So let's check now the site we were talking about. Here we go. Vinylcut.net. As you can see, I have already logged in and a dialogue. So this is my profile. This is the home page. As you can see here, the first statement is VinylCut.net has been created in order to share information about vinyl record mastering, sources, and quality, because you can also vote the quality of a record. Create a free account one minute and add a release to help other vinyl maniacs out there. You are not alone. So as you can see here, we see the latest albums, just some information here on Vinyl Cut, the, the last artist that will insert it. Two other words about Vinyl Cut, and here you can already see some of the uh, added recordings. So it's very simple. Uh, you can check out also the help page. There are a few important questions, key questions that will help you to understand. Here we have the list of current artists. Not that many, as you can see, because this, as I said, is a new project. It's just begun. It's, uh, it's been online just for a few weeks. So this is desperately waiting for your contribution. So once you land, you open up your, uh, you log in and you start navigating on the, the website, you just want to add a release. So as you can see here, you're about to add a new version to the database. In fact, there's a warning, as you can see. You're adding a new record to the database. If you only want to browse the list of albums already in the database, go to the artist section. Otherwise, please be, please be my guest. You can check this to take it away. And here you have to um, describe, you have to write down the name, the precise name of the album. Then things will get more easy. But to, for now, you have to write the precise name of the album or the artist if you want. I'll just start with, for example, Black Sabbath, find an album, which is the first album of Black Sabbath. It also found other releases. Here we can start for the master release of Black Sabbath. And now it's gonna show me all the different releases, all the different pressings, reissues, etc., of this album. As you can see, there are dozens. So you have to look for yours. Uh, this is all sourced from Discogs. Um, as you can see, different years, countries, uh, different kinds of pressings, 
anything, all, all the different types that are present on Discogs, and you can also see, look at it at Discog if you want to have even more information. Once you've found the one you have in mind, which you know about, perhaps if you have it in your in your hand or you just really you just bought it you click on plus if there's already a little check mark here if this is activated that means it's already inserted in the da database here none of these are inserted for example we want to insert the first one you just click plus here you have the basic information if it's not the right version you can check something else in, in order to find it the, the final one and here starts the fun because I think there are just a few questions, but you're really increasing the information, the quality information about a release, which, which nobody else is talking about. We have to take action and do this, guys. So, first of all, how does it sound? Because that's a good question. So you're already, apart from the source, you're already giving important information from an end user, not from a reviewer, a journal, a magazine or something. No, us. So, for example, one star, waste of money, two star, bad pressing, three star, lack something but still acceptable, four star, good sounding, I recommend it, five star, go buy this pressing, it's awesome. Or if you never had listened, I mean, never heard about it, you can write that, that's no problem. It, it, all any kind of information is something worth adding absolutely then apart from this the source if you know what kind of source this precise pressing was obtained from a lossy file like for example an mp3 a cd unfortunately yes guys some vinyl records are simply reissues from the cd file it's very sad high resolution file but not from original master tape high resolution file from the original master tapes which is highly occurring very very often now with high quality pressings because unfortunately it's very difficult to have an AAA release which is the one afterwards full analog chain from original master tapes which means that the whole process is analog which like the original versions back in the last century. That's what we're looking for if obviously we're talking about old reissues. New records, no problem, we're not talking about master tapes. But usually we're not, you're not gonna hit this site if you're not interested in, in what is the source and the mastering process. Okay, otherwise you can also declare that this is the very first, first time that this comes to vinyl. So maybe you don't have enough information, etc. Apart from that, a very interesting question that a lot of people completely overlook. If this record, if this issue was mastered specifically for vinyl. This is very important guys, as I said before, because if this instead was mastered as it almost always happened for a CD, for a digital release, it's going to be different. It's not going to be optimized for vinyl. So if you know this about a specific release, it's very important to, um, to share that information. After that, here in the comment links, you usually add you the sources. Where did you found this information? Who told you? Where, where, where did you read this, etc. I mean, it's important to give some information, some feedback on where you got this information. Maybe it's firsthand. Maybe you're a, an engineer. Maybe you're the singer, whatever it is. It's important, though, to write something and give some information on what you're claiming. Obviously, other people can, as I said, check what you have done what you wrote and give a, a evaluation a, an assessment of that so if somebody is writing something wrong it, it can be somehow controlled it can be checked by others so don't worry about that sooner or later if we have a lot of votes a lot of information merging to a single specific uh, release that at that point it's almost obviously obviously going to be certain that we have a correct uh information a correct form dedicated to a specific release after that you just submit it there's also obviously a french release a french french version for the french people this is a french project here we have a few basic uh, information on what we intend on what vinyl cut intends for lossy file cd all these terms so you know exactly what we what we mean when you start to select or insert information on specific things okay so apart from the insertion of a new uh, release, a new pressing. I just wanted to show you an album, for example, this one, which I actually added. 
Um, this is a recent release. Fantastic. If you never heard, heard about it, go and fetch it because it's excellent release. This is an AAA uh, production, which is why we have this little golden crown. I think the, the sound quality is five star. Here you have more information where I got, the, for example, this information. <clears throat> but let's try to take a look at another album. For example, this one here. Here you can see other releases. Obviously, people are adding mainly analog uh, analog pressing because those are the ones we, we want more. So if you click on, as you see here, if you click on infos, you have uh, a lot of more information of what's going on. Here, uh, other information on the release. And as you can see, this is a very cool thing. Here you have practically a graphical elaboration of the different votes from the community. Obviously, we're at the beginning, so we don't have that many um, votes for each release. But here, you can see what people are claiming this specific release is. And obviously, we tend to believe, we tend to um, somehow uh, agree with the highest percentage, obviously. So we could see from, from the different colors what the people are claiming this was sourced from. In this case, as we can see, high resolution digital file from original master tape, which, as I said before, is the case of several audiophile releases or even normal pressings of, t of release today. See, in fact, here, you can already vote from here. You don't have to go in any other parts of the, of the site. You just have to go here. Here there are other comments from the people. If you want to just post a comment, see what people are saying about this release. And here you just click on vote and you can add more information uh, to this precise release. As we were saying before, it's the same add release button. It brings you directly here and you can say something, add information to this. And that's it. I mean, this is mainly what it, it, all this project is about. Again, it's at the at the beginning, so it's going to take time to bu to build up to um create a real a true database. But that's why we passionate we audiophiles enthusiasts of vinyl records do have to give uh, a, a a little bit have to share their knowledge because this is the place to do it. I think I I I really believe in this project. I obviously disclaimer I have nothing to do with vinyl cut. With uh, Guillaume, he's just a cool guy who was a subscriber of uh, my channel. I love his project, so I wanted to share that with you. Uh, Nobody is earning anything from this. I want to make that clear. Okay, guys? Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Guillaume, and I am the creator of VinylCut.net. Uh, first of all, I'd like obviously to thank Anna Dialog for his support and his time throughout the project. So thank you very much. This is really, really appreciated. About Vinyl Cut, the the um, the ID, the main ID behind the project was that you know, ten or fifteen years ago, I started buying new records, and it was really hard to find information about the mastering process, which source had been used. Uh, where it has been mast uh, mastered, pressed at, or, or whatever. So nowadays it's a bit easier. You can find information on, uh, well, discogs, on several forums, uh, even the bands or the record companies are sharing this information. But I thought it was it would be really interesting to gather all this information in one place, and so that's why I created this project. So. When you want to add a pressing um, to Vinyl Cut, you just have to um, search for the artist name and the uh, album name, let's say uh, Dark Side of the Moon, for instance, and it will search the Discogs database, and the Discogs database will return all the different pressings of Dark Side of the Moon. You just have to select the one that you want to add to the database of Vinyl Cut, and after that, you just have to add information about the mastering, the sound quality, and uh, where you did get this information from. Once you have submitted the form, that's it. It, it literally takes less than one minute to add, a, um, to add a pressing to the database. This is really important 
um, that it's easy to use because it's kind of a nerdy topic and maybe, I don't know, maybe 500 people on earth are interested by, um, you know, vinyl mastering. So I thought it would be really, really important that the system is simple to use. So I hope it is because uh, I have worked, you know, really hard on this uh, database connection with uh, Discogs. Well, uh, one last thing, the uh, the website uh, is totally free and it will remain free and uh, it will remain remain ad free as well. So it's it's just the idea is really to have a place on which people can just, you know, uh, vinyl enthusiasts can just share information so that everybody is able to buy the right pressings being the pressings that sound good and that have been um, mastered properly and manufactured properly which is a way you know to support the people who are doing a good job i hope you will like it and that you will use it and share it because you know we we really we really need many people uh, there to fill this database thanks a lot if you have any problem if you find issues on the website you can contact me there is an email address in the uh, description below see you on the web bye bye okay guys again i want to underline the importance of this project i think it's very cool if we all start to insert the information of our precious vinyl records, of the, the pressings, we know how they have been sourced in a good or bad way, how, they've, how they have been mastered, the different editions of the same record. I mean, that is all information we all want to know, so might, might as well start to share that, just like Discog started. And as you learn from the, the words from uh, Guillaume, all of this is synchronized with Discog, so we already have a, have a huge database in order to work on that. It's fantastic. We just need time to build up our own database. So participate. Start inserting a vinyl record, what pressing you know it's completely analog, completely digital, whatever it is, and cite your source and become a protagonist of this revolution. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, music is born analog.